facilities that you need to uh, to do your work, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. How do you explain to people what about that work? What is the potential for what science we can learn on board this space station? First of all, I, I would like to say that, um, from my opinion, the most important uh, purpose of uh, ISS is to, kn to learn, to study how people can live in space, how to make their life uh, there more safely, uh, not dangerous, and uh, how we can fly to somewhere because uh, time will come in, time will come in, and uh, we will go to the other planets, to the deep space, and uh, of course we should understand and uh, know how we can do it uh, to be safe there. It's, from my opinion, it's the most uh, important purpose of uh, using ISS. And as you say, a lot of that research has to do with how to finding out how people can be in space for a long period of time and, and be safe. Uh, in fact, the station partners have recently announced that they're going to send two crew members to the station for a full year. Uh, what are your thoughts about a, a year-long mission on board the space station? Uh, I think, uh, of course, it's a, a good a uh, good experience because all flights which we are going to have for some different planet, even its moon or Mars or something else, they probably will uh, take so uh, very long time, maybe a year, maybe more, and uh, that is why it's very important to understand uh, how our body and uh, how people can. Uh, I wouldn't say survive, I would like to say live there for one year or more. It's very would, important. Would you like to go for a year? Especially is it a flight to the Mars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The science that you're going to do is broken up into different areas. And the, the science of, of human life sciences, of finding out how the body responds in zero gravity is one of the biggest ones. Can you give me two or three examples of the human life sciences research that you're going to be involved with during this flight? So, but you know, um, as you know, my background is a pilot, pilot instructor, and uh, I think that the most interesting uh, experiment for me uh, will be next. Um, you know that all scientific world uh, trying to understand how works our vestibular system, especially on zero G, and uh, all such um, to understand how it works, it would be much easier to use uh, some uh, simple uh, creatures. And I'm going to use a typical fly for this purpose. And the answer which I'm going to get uh, is it to, know, to know how they uh, land on ceiling, if we can say ceiling on space. Uh, will they use half roll or half loop? <laughs> I will say that. Can you give me another one or, or two examples of the human life sciences research you're going to be working on on this mission? Uh, so, uh, some of experiments uh, will um, uh, touch uh, our uh, human's uh, cardiovascular uh, system. Some of the, uh, we will see how to distribution uh, liquid level on the body because you know that uh, in zero G, uh, all a lot of um, liquid in uh, our body will go up because there are there are no zero uh, there because there zero G, and it's pretty 
uh, unco uncomfortable uh, feeling when <coughs> all your blood trying to go to your uh, head and as you can see a uh, face of astronauts cosmonauts all time is a pretty i i wouldn't uh, I, I would like to say not uh, not on not like on the ground it's a little bit puffy puffy i think so yes right thank you and uh, i'm going we are going to uh to watch to uh, how it works and uh, all, all these experiments it's not like uh, big uh, we're not going to do it at first time it's like a long li uh, experiments in one line uh, because statistic I probably uh, it, uh, for statistic we need pretty lots uh, experiments to do uh, only after that we can make any conclusions and uh, decide how we can help better and uh, what can happen uh, if we do that or do not do any special activity. And there are experiments in other scientific disciplines that you'll be working on throughout your time as well. Give me a couple of examples of the other kinds of science research you're going to be involved with on this flight. So I'm very interested in uh, experiment uh, with, this, with conducted uh, was connected with um, uh, getting of different alloys of metal uh, if in general you know that the, the difference between uh, experiments which we can uh, perform on ground and on ISS is uh, the uh, zero G on ISS uh, and uh, uh, for example uh, we couldn't uh, get uh, alloy of some different metals on uh, ground such uh, metal like uh, aluminium and uh, iron uh, but on space it can be possible we can get some different uh, materials uh, which will have some different qualities uh, and on ground on ground is impossible but there it become untrue and it's very interesting for me and I'm going to do it now, we've talked about work that you're doing inside the station. There are also times when crew members have to work on the outside of the space station. Now, the plans, of course, could change, but I'd like to get you to tell me about what the current plan is for spacewalks during uh, Expeditions 35 and 36. Tell me about who would go outside and, and what you will do. And by that, of course, I mean you when you get to go outside for spacewalks. Uh, so, uh, in the current plan, we have <laughs> seven EVA. Uh, three of them uh, will perform uh, our uh, American and European colleagues, and three, I hope four, will perform uh, we, I mean uh, Russian colleagues. And uh, <coughs> Yes, I, I would like to say about a little words about Russian ways. Of course, I think that Chris will explain much better uh, his activities in space. Uh, as to Russian ways, uh, especially for me, I was prepared for two, and I, I want and I hope uh, that I will be prepared for one more EVA. Uh, the I, I think you you are interested in uh, which purpose of this EVA uh, we we want to get uh, and um, the uh, one of this EVA uh, is connected with preparing for one more Russian module which will come in a little bit later for our mission uh, and uh, two other. Uh, one uh, second uh, EVA uh, we are going to do for change some equipment of 
which is uh, located outside of station. And uh, one more way uh, we are going to perform for installation of some new scientific uh, equipment outside of the station. So part of what you're doing is preparing for the arrival of a future module, and the others are uh, exchanging experiments that are, are going on on the outside of, of the station. Is that yeah, good? yeah. Uh, um, are you very excited about the idea of floating outside as your own little spaceship? Of course, it should be the best uh, walk <laughs> for me. I hope so. Now you're going to make these spacewalks with uh, cosmonaut colleagues who have a lot of experience, yes? Yeah, it's true. The space station now gets supplies delivered to it by a small fleet of uh, unmanned cargo ships. And there are several of them that are scheduled to come to the station during the time that you're there. Uh, tell me about the different cargo ships that are, are bringing uh, supplies to the station, including the new uh, American commercial ships that are going to be making trips during your increment, too. Uh, as to other spacecraft to which will come, you know, our mission is very interesting uh, also because uh, we are going to see all spacecraft which uh, there is on the on our planet. Uh, we, I'm looking forward to see progress. You know, uh, so so use ATV, HTV, uh, Dragon, uh, Cygnus, all spacecraft which uh, human uh, made. We are going to see in space, and I'm very I feel uh, I'm very lucky because. Uh, it's very excited experience, I think. Uh, and uh, of course, I'm very interested to see uh, different spacecraft. I uh, saw progress, so use, uh, but for me, it's very interesting to see uh, new commercial vehicles. And uh, uh, as to HTV and ATV, uh, it's in very interesting for me also. And I, I would like to say that it's pretty, um, a pretty big uh, job to, it's not like um, also to see them. We will have a lot of uh, work with uh, any payload which will uh, locate it on their board. And anyway, it's very ex exciting for me. As you think about the entire uh, mission. What do you think, what is it that you're most looking forward to about your time on board the space station? Of course, no, for me, the most interesting part will be new type of uh, arriving on board for orbit, I mean, and uh, EVA activity, of course. What is it that you think that we, the whole International Space Station program, what is it that these missions on the International Space Station are teaching us that are helping prepare us for the future missions that will go beyond Earth orbit? No, first of all, of course, I already told about it that uh, we will uh, understand and we will know uh, what we should do, what we should do for s safety life, for long safety life in space, and its first part, uh, second part, of course, it will be, to, uh, it will be knowledge uh, how to make our future spacecraft to, uh, for first reason, to save save uh, life of people on board and uh, to make their life uh, more comfortable there. And the third part, I think, it will be uh, to uh, uh, understanding how we can uh, 
make uh, our spacecraft uh, such a way that uh, to be less uh, dependent on uh, MCC because uh, when we are going to fly in deep space uh, it takes a lot of time pretty lot of time to, for communication